Bringing you the voice and vision of custom culture and lifestyle, as seen through the eyes of this South Texas duo. Welcome to the Custom Couple. Oh man! Was it cold and rainy down there yet? It, yes. Yeah. <laughs> woke up today and it was raining, uh, just uh, lightly, but then it was cold, so that sucks. Cause I can deal with one or the other. I hate both of them together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. I, I don't have enough body weight for this cold weather, you know. <laughs> I yeah. did have a fat friend tell me he had more surface area to get cold, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, because uh, I at, at work I sit right next to a door, uh, and it. I swear, I I, I work in an, uh, a mechanic shop for airplane engines, but everybody yeah. that got hired there seems to be a weatherman because they want to go and open that door and look outside to see how the weather is so they can report back to me who's been sitting next to this door the entire time. So, yeah. Trust me, it's cold. <laughs> and it's cold outside. It's like, yeah, close the damn door. <laughs> yeah. So, of course. Yeah, kids these days. And, and then, uh, for some reason, at least twice a day, they need to open up the big bay doors so they can, you know, drive a forklift in or out. And it's like right. they they drive in and do their whole job before they close the bay door back down. It's like, <laughs> well, I've got to go right back outside. It's like back outside was like 30 minutes later. You could have closed the door. <laughs> yeah. It was fine. But, Brent, how have you been, man? I'm good. I'm good. How are you all? You feeling Decent. better now, Sam? Yes, my teeth don't hurt nearly as bad as I thought. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm New adjusting. Braces. Yes, I'm adjusting. Yes. Nice. So. I know. On, on top of braces, and then like both of us hit like this weird 24 hour bug. It was like, Ugh. yeah, this last couple of weeks have been weird. So yeah, my we're... kids are homesick too. too. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been passing around throwing up, throwing up, and having to clean up. You know. My six-year-old goes in there and pukes first. And I'm like, wow, did you make a mess anywhere I need to clean? She goes, no, my stomach was upset, so I went straight to the toilet. And I was like, that's awesome. The other two kids around here don't do – they throw up on the floor, and then they go to the toilet. It <laughs> has to be something then because that's literally what happened to me. I just, like, yeah. felt like shit at midnight. And then, like, he went to work, and I called him, like, an hour later. I was like, I ruined the bathroom. I was like, I just <laughs> threw up everywhere. I was like, this sucks. And he's like, okay, I'll come home and clean it later. And I'm like, I'm doing it already. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, there was no doing it later. She's <laughs> like, no, this has got to go right now. Right now. And then yeah, me. like the old Dennis Larry joke that I heard. He's like, yeah, you know, you got it coming out both ends and you're puking and then you shoot Yoo-Hoo across the wall, you know, and then you got to drive home to your house and try to hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh then you got to drive home. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> terrible but see me like i i can't oh, throw up so like i had surgery on my stomach and oh, right. uh the the whole act of it is like torture complete torture mm. so yeah i had that bug for about i don't know it wasn't a full day that i had it but oh man it was like i did like 80 ab workouts all in in a matter of like three hours yeah pretty so. much Folks and out there, don't don't get up. sick. Sounds like an exorcism. Yeah, pretty much. I <laughs> yeah. he was over there in the room dying. I was like, I'm gonna stay out here. I'm gonna eat out here. You can stay in there. Yeah, <laughs> just let it go. Quit holding it in. Just <laughs> yeah, let it go. Like, just go. Just go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> folks, y'all y'all don't need to get sick. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Just just avoid it altogether. <laughs> All right, let's uh, start. We we've already started. People are gonna listen to this. We're not gonna... welcome. We are not starting off with that. We're of course not, we are. We're not starting with shooting Yahoo across the walls and all that other shit. <laughs> you Yoo-hoo. not Yahoo. <laughs> Chocolate milk. <laughs> you can tell Sam was born in the nineties. Exactly. Yep. Kids. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> we to just throw it all out there. Why don't you? <laughs> Well, folks, you're going to see pictures of this anyway. So Sam got her braces on. So. Yes. Yeah, nice. Took and then 10 she got years her, off of her. 
accepted to college today. Is that yes. Right? I'm so excited. I'm just, yep. I'm, he told me the other day, he's like, you're reversing backwards. You know that, right? You're supposed to get older, not go younger and get braces and then go back to school. I was like, yeah, <laughs> right. I didn't, didn't think that one through that great. <laughs> and then nice. lo and behold, we go and uh, we sit down at a restaurant and order a couple of drinks. And sure enough, she gets carded. Immediately. After I Immediately. haven't been carded at all for like two years. I was like, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, blaming all the braces. So. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> she got carded, and then she got carded again at Target for buying a bottle of wine the other so day. I was so pissed. I've never been wow. carded at Target ever in my life, like ever. I was like, "This is bullshit." <laughs> so, so TABC, y'all are doing your job out there. Uh, thank Congratulations, you. Yeah. Keeping alcohol out of the hands of kids. Appreciate it. We'll just get a little smarter. Well, I'm happy to grow all this gray hair finally. I don't look like I'm 18 anymore. <laughs> I always got where these, what's this punk kid telling me how to build my car? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm people 40, are actually trusting you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are y'all building right now? Oh, man, we're building a bunch. We're doing a lot of coyote swaps and F100s, of course, you know, and uh, doing a lot of, just came back from SEMA. So I've seen some new, new products up there. We're putting on F100s like QA1, just came up with a really cool front suspension and rear suspension. So we're working on putting those on. And uh, yeah, I got, what we were working on. I mean, it's been a while since I talked to y'all, I guess. So it's, um, yeah, there are typical 20 cars in the shop. So, and 18 people on the team knocking them out. So that's awesome, man. Still the same 18 since the last time we talked. Yeah. Yeah. I've got, uh, actually hiring a new, uh, office person this week, hopefully, and I'll make 19 then. So, but yeah, we don't have any uh, employee turnover. I mean, we got a great atmosphere. It's all great team. If they have any issues, they come, you know, straight to me or go talk to Tracy and, you know, my admin, HR lady, operations manager. Right. And yeah, we just, uh, yeah, just like a family. So we don't have really much turnaround or turnover, I should say. So then, then you get that one guy come in the shop, wants to speak to your dad. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had that in a while, but yeah. Son, can you go get your dad for me? Yeah. I, I, we need to talk. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I love it. I love it. So you you just came back from SEMA. How was that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's the first time I've been. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty overwhelming. There's a whole lot going on at one time, you know, that, uh, um, you know, it's kind of like a car show to me. I'm, I get bored real fast. So I just start moving around and finding the stuff I want to see and then leave, you know, type deal. But I went with a couple of customers and good friends and they wanted to see things. And so we did a lot of cruising. I think we walked 18 miles in two days. Oh my God. So <laughs> yeah, you can Yo. definitely do that at those, those bigger shows like that for sure. And, th and then you still don't see everything. Oh no, we didn't even see probably a third of what was there. So <laughs> Yeah, we, we talked about trying to do SEMA, uh, of course, not this year. Uh, we were thinking, my, like, in the next couple years, we're, you know, we're trying to put out, you know, a three-year and a five-year plan as to what we want to do with our business. And SEMA is somewhere in all of that because, you know, for one, it would just be beneficial to just go and leave a business card on every single table you can find out there because there's so yeah. many vendors there's so many people doing new innovative things and yeah that, that's a definitely definitely big one so yeah, that's cool, cool man so if you've never done it it's something to check off your list for sure so what what's up with these new suspensions you're talking about what what's the differences in those compared to what you've been doing so we started building our own dodge dakota front suspension based off of uh mike Zaskowski's, or however you say his last name uh, Dakota front end on F 100s, uh, just improved it and made a laser cut stuff. And then, uh, of course, COVID happened and that, that all got shut down that production on that. But QA one, uh, was in the process of building a crown Vic based, uh, front suspension. So the, what's wrong with the crown Vic on the F 100s and Chevy trucks and stuff too, is that it's 63 inch wide track width and the factory F 100s 59 inches wide. So the wheels really stick out the fenders unless you put a like a front wheel drive looking wheel on it or a corvette looking wheel mm. and so the qa1 and the dodge dakota and stuff like that front suspensions mustang twos they keep it at 59 inches and it per puts the wheel perfectly in the wheel well and the track width so um the cool thing about the qa1 it's uh like i said it's crown vic based and it's we got all kinds of independent suspension options coilovers dual adjustables stuff like that rack and pinion steering of course 
and it's just I, I mean it just bolts in and looks like a really nice kit so that's I've awesome, had a lot man. of great reviews from it so that's really awesome i know a lot of people that are going with uh you know full fendered cars full fendered trucks of course uh, things where they can hide all the independent suspension stuff. Like the, everybody's always loved the, you know, the Mustang two front end and right. things like that. But you know, it, it just doesn't look right, you know, aesthetically on some of the cars where you know you're seeing that. So like having, uh, you know, these newer, uh, suspensions and stuff like that, like it has always been that back and forth. So like, well, do I want independent front suspension? But I always said on anything full fendered where I could hide it, that's what I would go with all day long. You know, yeah, the, the, the comfort the thing about of the trucks drivability. Is it needs a heavier duty front suspension than the Mustang too. You know, you've got a, a car, a Mustang two back in the seventies was, you know, 2,300 pounds, a little bitty car and the trucks are just more top heavy. And so mm -hmm. they need more center of gravity balance and stuff. Yeah. So the heavy duty crown Vic front end, you know, the Dakota, Dodge Dakota truck front end, that's just, stronger and you can just do so much more with it than a Mustang too. So not that the aftermarket Mustang twos are weak, unless you buy a cheap one, you know, you always get what you pay for, but you know, we've been installing Heights Mustang twos in them for years and had great luck out of them. So. Yeah. But yeah, the drivability, the, you know, the ease, the functions, you know, all the creature comforts that come with it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, of course fuel injected engines too. Like you yeah, said, you're yeah. doing a bunch of coyote swaps and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you know, people just coyote want to, like, swaps and Holly sniper EFI stuff. Yeah. It's, people just want to be able to get in their stuff and drive and go like exactly build yeah. functional hot rods. That's what we specialize in. So yeah, absolutely, man. That's awesome. Uh, one thing on our list is we need another, uh, crawfish broil when's that gonna happen <laughs> yeah no you yeah, are yeah. the only person i've ever eaten it from so i'm nice. only gonna eat it again when you have it got your standard set now yep huh? it's done that's the only that's yeah. the only place nowhere else yeah trey the flat brim farmer he did an awesome job cooking that last year it was phenomenal it yeah was, uh, oh. but so but uh, we've talked a little bit about what the disciples uh we've got so much going on at the shop i haven't had a chance to even plan for it but it is our 20th anniversary and i was going to do a big shindig and all that but i've got this new business part going on which is coming out freaking phenomenal and then uh of course the 20 cars in the shop and we're booked all the way to june right now and so it's just damn just a lot going on hiring new people <laughs> and stuff like that so i just haven't had my uh few minutes even to think about it or plan anything oh totally so. understandable but but that's... i think the disciples and i are gonna do something small probably i haven't set a date or anything like that but we'll you know just do a little gathering and not make it a big deal maybe do bigger next year so yeah yeah but that's a that's a good problem to have uh oh course, yeah yeah you know you've always had a really uh really successful business you know with with the shop out there you you've always had cars in the shop you know every time we've talked to you uh whether it be on the show here or whether you know just when we uh hung out with you going up to the invasion you know you've yeah, always absolutely. been busy so that's a that's a good problem to have <laughs> yeah and i just sent you a link to a picture of our uh, business park on facebook messenger so you can see an idea of a rendering we're doing awesome it's coming out pretty cool uh we can advertise that a little bit you know i don't show pictures or anything on your social media but it's i mean it's coming together the hot rod shop's going to be over there we're going to have like a cigar lounge a distillery Ooh. and uh, my favorite part of it's going to be a vocational area for a school to teach high school kids and uh, teach them how to change oil and do mechanic work and fabrication paint body stuff like that so it's going to be that's yeah, amazing the yeah that's that's the whole reason i started the whole business park idea was to find room for a vocational school so that's awesome uh where is this going to be at are you able to give yeah, yeah. more details it's, about that it's actually a caddy corner right across the street from my shop so it's five and a half acres over there it's, it's an industrial park that the city owned and i'm working with buying it right now and then breaking ground hopefully you know end of this year next year to get get the ball rolling on it. So it's going to be cool. I sent you a, like I said, a 3d rendering of it. I don't know if you got it yet or not, but I, that is amazing. See, there you go. So, oh yeah. There it is. Oh. Man, folks, I'm so, going to yeah, share called, this on everything. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's called when Patina it's Alley. Yeah. It's called Patina Alley is the name of the business park. It's going to have food trucks there and uh, probably a dog park going in and then like i said the hot rod shop will be there and uh 
have a cigar lounge, maybe a barber shop or something like that. So you can drink a beer and watch people build hot rods, get your hair cut, you know, smoke a cigar, you know, stuff like that. Just kind of a destination for men to go to and land passes here. So we're close enough to Austin, but still far enough away, you know, that's, so, that's the best part. Far enough away exactly. from <laughs> <laughs> far enough from crazy over here. As, as <laughs> long as you got a refrigerator full of Trey's pickles, um, we're good. So we're good. Yeah, so. definitely could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, you got to be listening to this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling for you, bud. Yeah, we need the hookup. <laughs> I'm I got trying. a retail spot for you. Exactly. Ooh, a nice little a diner in there. That'd be great. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Get Maybe a little steakhouse or something like that. You know, be kind of yeah. cool. Have a little arcade in there with my pinball machines and some old school Pac Man. Maybe. There you go, Ooh. man. Oh yeah, but we, we patina were at- alley, so it's gonna be all patina looking buildings, old school style, you know. So it looked like an old dealership that was, you know, patinaed out. So that's amazing. That oh that's exciting. Yeah, that's a really Yeah, I gotta have a have a stage for events and stuff like that as well, right there in the buildings and so that's gonna be cool. That is really cool, man. And the other you know, the the other part to that that some people probably don't think about is if the fact that, you know, you're building something like that. You're opening up more jobs in your area, and that's Absolutely. super important right now. I think that's awesome. You know? Yeah, we're bringing some of our vendors and subs and stuff like that to Land Pass. Just trying to get my chassis guy and nerd rods to come over here. First, we've got Inline 6 Auto Body, who's already doing our paint and body work in-house. And then uh, uh, Shana at 13th Street Airbrushing. Y'all really need to check her out. She does phenomenal work also. She's on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, she's in-house now, does pinstriping and custom airbrush work. And then, of course, Inline 6 does those awesome murals. And I mean, not murals, but uh, patina. Yeah. Uh, panel paint roofs and stuff, all anything you want. So Yeah. And then, uh, of course, our upholstery shop will be in-house, too. And so just just make it kind of a destination for all all things hot rod, you know. There you go. And then uh, I just bought Sam a sewing machine. So uh, nice. in about go. a week, she'll know how to do that. I don't know what this I don't know what this year is, but like I'm just packing everything that I can do in one year. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> She's gonna okay. be sewing and <laughs> going to school and going to hot rod shows. Yeah. Right. Sam is is gonna be busy this year, that's for damn Apparently. sure. Apparently. <laughs> I don't well, if you don't feel old now, you put all that on yourself, you're really gonna start feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> right hey, she took 10 years back and out. she's gonna jump 15 years forward <laughs> <laughs> no see that's why i got that that one blonde strip going because what everybody doesn't know is like when it turns white y'all are gonna think i did that intentionally i did not <laughs> <laughs> this is stress yeah <laughs> So was, I'm going to work more hours at work just so I don't have to come home. <laughs> wow, that'll get you in trouble. <laughs> I, it'll get me in trouble until payday. That That's that's all. You know? right. Payday comes around, we're good. It's like, that's man, you worked like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but God. What else you got going on, man? What, what What's going on with the family? Y'all doing good? Other than being yeah, sick all crazy lately? Yeah, they're getting better. Uh, I mean, yeah, the kids are busy doing we're, I'm coaching basketball for my 10-year-old son. He's on the basketball team. and So we're doing that on Saturdays. And, uh, yeah, we took a break from the uh, gymnastic stuff and the ninja classes and all that just because school was getting busy and homework mm-hmm. and everything just too much. So, but yeah, everybody's doing great. My wife's a rock star as always, so she's – yeah, deals with all the crazy around here. <laughs> she would have to. I I know you, man. We we go back. <laughs> yeah, we, she's been dealing with this for twenty four years. Nineteen years married this year. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, that's super awesome. Um, you, you just reminded me how old I was. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this year I hit my yeah. uh, my twenty year reunion for high school. Uh, nice. So we're planning on going to that. That's going to be wild. It's going to look even worse now because I have braces. Yeah, I'm going to show up. Yeah, I graduated. Dating a teenager. Like, hi. <laughs> graduated You're 20 years ago. I'm married to a current student. <laughs> you never leave high school, you know? Yeah. I always got to get back in. I got friends like that. I know where it is. Yeah. Right, you feel like you mad? I didn't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> feel like Matthew McConaughey and uh, Dazed and Confused. <laughs> right. Yeah, 
I just but keep it. getting older and they stay the same. <laughs> See, I use that joke in my shop. My customers stay the same age and my car's getting newer. Or, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little flip on that. Some yeah. people catch it, some people don't. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, for sure. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, you got a new thing going with uh, uh, assistant data entry ladies. We're going to start a membership also to the hot rod shop. So you'll have like a, a monthly membership fee and that'll cover oil changes maintenance battery charges stuff like that so we'll maintain your car you know so many times a year depending on which membership you got and then make sure it's ready to rock and roll for the show season etc so wow and so yeah, be yeah a, that's like a, a membership great maintenance idea. plan yeah so we can uh that'll be on our website soon too you can sign up for that uh and have a uh, like i said just a maintenance program going that that's where the high school kids come in they'll be the one learning how to change oil and you know, tire rotations, you know, stuff like that, brake jobs, et cetera, just do overall inspections. That's yeah. a really smart way to do that. That's really cool because then they get the experience, <laughs> they know how to learn it. Oh my, that's exactly. really cool, man. You really got yeah. this figured out. I've got a kid named Taylor now that works for me. He's a high schooler. He's graduating this year and I've given him the opportunity to take it and run with it on his lead. So he'll be the one teaching the kids and training the kids how to do things, you know, or beyond college, you know, if they want to be in the twenties, thirties, you don't have to be in high school to attend the vocational classes or be a, you know, uh, I'll be there. OJT, you know, so I'm <laughs> right. there. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. It'll be a good time. Yeah. No, it's, it's all never, about you're never legacy. Passing, passing down to the next generation. That's what it's about. Yeah. Absolutely, man. And of course, you know, like you're right, you're, you're never too old to, you know, to learn a skill and learn something, you know, l yeah. learn how to, take care of your own car because you know sam uh we went to uh with the the oil change shop and then we walked right the hell out like because sam needed a the sticker for her inspection oh right 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 so we go in there and it's like well what does an oil change cost now and and they want over 80 bucks for an oil change yeah, and it's crazy, ridiculous. It? So yeah, they wanted like, like yeah. I think like 150, and I was like, for what? Like, yeah. <laughs> like so excuse me. <laughs> pay, right. We paid the seven bucks for the inspection. And I was like, I'll take care of the rest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oil's expensive, but yeah. I understand. <laughs> not not that expensive. It hasn't gone up that much since I've been doing this. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. Yeah, uh, Man, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you something earlier today. I was, I was texting about eight hundred people today. And I was like, <laughs> I need to talk to Brant today because we're gonna talk on the podcast. And, <laughs> man, my my brain has been scattered today. I can't believe this. It's because <laughs> birthday's coming up. Yeah, it's because my birthday's coming up, so I'm scared. Oh shoot! How old are you turning now? Oh, I'm somewhere in my twenties. Thirty-eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Didn't even try. I had it. Thirty-eight. <laughs> It'll be thirty. Yeah, exactly. thirty-eight. <laughs> That's all right. I'm forty-one. I just keep telling my wife I'm halfway to dead. So <laughs> I got to figure out what I'm going to do with my life. May have to get a real job even. <laughs> so. Let's hope not. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. I don't know if anybody will hire you. No, that ain't no joke. I've tried. It didn't work out. <laughs> They they it's for like, one they got their your speeding record there in town, right? And it's like when you're a kid in school and you get the report card home says does not work well with others. <laughs> <laughs> that may have been me. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was the opposite. I was the one that's always getting the notes home that said I was talking too much in class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I social class right? clown. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Lo and behold, we have a podcast. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing this math paper, so I'm going to make jokes in front of it. Yeah. Call attention to myself. <laughs> exactly. If I can get That's the teacher to laugh. Me. What do you think about me? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. If, so. if you can get the teacher to laugh, she'll pass you for the year. It, that, that's how it that works. That never happened. <laughs> never. Never. I repeated. All, Mr. Martin, can you go outside? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's really about that go time for me. <laughs> yeah. That's all yep, right. I need some fresh air. <laughs> Exit yeah. stage left. Yep. I was leaving anyway. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Gosh, I hope my kids don't hear this podcast. <laughs> no, no. Stay in school. <laughs> That's right. At least until 3.30 when they let you out legally. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. 
Yeah, good times. What <laughs> other shows do you got lined up to go to? I know you don't go to that many during the year, especially since you're very busy all the time. But are there any yeah. that like you have like for sure? You're like I'm gonna be there. Well, I did make hotel reservations at Bonneville this year, so Ooh. August the fifth through the tenth, I will be at the Salt Flats. So that'll be a first ever for me too on my list of to dos. So I'm going to Bonneville. Uh, going with a group of guys and gonna hop in my Chrysler and drive it to Bonneville. So it'll be a good time. Got Scott McNew and Mike Weaver and all them gonna take our hot rods out there. So Oh, that's cool. I love that Chrysler you have. It was so beautiful when I saw it. I was like, <laughs> Oh, it's drooling over it. It was so beautiful. Yeah, that's, I'll have uh, that one in my fifty three Victoria will be done hopefully the end of February. So Oh, nice. Yeah. 53 that's the one with the gold roof on it that the inline six painted and he's about to paint it uh gloss white maybe you could put a watson paint job on it so we'll debut it probably at the roundup if it happens so okay very cool you know what we were talking about the other day was uh we have yet to see anything said about, about roundup like they have a website up and they have a date set for the weekend after the uh uh what's the one in vegas uh, viva 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 las vegas so it's i think it's april 27th or something like that whatever that weekend is after viva is uh the date they have set for the roundup so yeah i saw that they had the, hopefully it does yeah so. i hope so too but it's like we we saw that there was a date and then nobody's posted up flyers nobody's uh, put out a list of bands uh no. featured cars normally like it's everybody's like done by gearing like up right now the first week of january it's done everyone's <laughs> like all right cool because all the cars are featured from last year so they already paid their entry fees so <laughs> right uh, you're not lying on that one it's like they, they have there are people that have like paid up for the last two years like waiting right. to get to go <laughs> yeah absolutely same here yeah, we're set up in the vendor area, ready to rock and roll whenever they pull the trigger and say it's good. So yeah, uh, yeah, I was talking to uh, one of our sponsors, uh, uh, Ken. He's with uh, Bad Idea Customs, and up in his area, like uh, Montana, he's like, we have no car culture. So I spend most of my year traveling other places so I can experience, you know, things in the car culture. And uh, he was talking about coming down to Roundup, and I was like, yeah, and he's bringing a, a sixty three i'm pretty sure 63 impala that he's like oh, okay. doing right now and he's actually gonna like make it drivable and everything for coming down nice. and uh yeah i was telling him i was like man i hope you come down and hang out with us but i have not heard anything about roundup so <laughs> yeah. we're hoping that yeah. the show happens yeah, yeah so at far, least come and hang out we'll find something to do yeah like, so far our next one is what river rod right? river rod yeah, river rod is what yeah. we'll be at that's the oh, okay. next one that's yeah that's the next one we're gonna be at that'll be in uh new braunfels mm -hmm. uh i think it's yeah. like the first part of march we'll be out yeah, there I heard that's a great show i've never been to it but never uh, been either. Uh, the disciples go yeah yeah and i imagine uh trey's gonna be out there he's been at a few pickles. of the few, <laughs> last few shows that we've been to slinging pickles <laughs> Oh, I love that it. sounded what you so do. much better in my head and then i saw like that doesn't sound right i love it yeah, my wife goes on the podcast and tells people about slinging pickles. <laughs> what? She needs yeah. to make that a shirt now. <laughs> right. Pickle slinger at its finest. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Spicy pickle slinger. <laughs> oh, man. Trey, I swear to God, we're not trying to tank you. <laughs> It's all promotion, good, bad, or right? yeah. I don't know. <laughs> all I have your perspective. Hundred percent good promotion. I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and then I think we're gonna try to make it to Viva. Yep. We've never been. Never been. So yeah, same yeah. here. I haven't been to that one, but yeah, that'd be awesome. Good. I'm so glad we're not the so. only ones because everybody we know usually they're like, "Man, you haven't been." I was like, "No." Mm -mm. no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like we got to pick and choose what we're going to do as, as much as you do because of how busy your shop is. You can't be traveling all the time, even in the midst of car season. You you still have a business to run, you know, sure, and yeah. we still have day jobs we have to go to. That's the that's the tank uh, adulting of it all. sucks. Yep. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's the worst adult. decision yeah. I ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, stop. It's not what's cracked up to be. Yeah. <laughs> Stay young. Yeah, Enjoy exactly. Life. 
when they tell you yeah you're supposed to get out of high school and get jobs and do all of that it, it is a trick i swear lying <laughs> lying to you yeah but then no, sometimes I mean, you good, open though. your own I really shop get, yeah yeah i mean get, i could go to a lot of shows i've got an awesome team that would cover the shop you know while i was gone and it's just i don't know it turns into work to me so i i just try to pick ones that i enjoy and you know can have fun hang out with my buddies and I mean, I enjoy just hanging out in the hotel room, you know, talking trash or road, or I mean, bench racing or whatever you want to call it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you know, we had a we had a blast cruising up to Invasion with you last uh, last fall. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the guys that you that you run with, man, the the cars that we were able to uh, drive and get pictures of, you know, <laughs> it, it was a blast. Uh, a wonderful group of guys, you know, and then, uh, uh, the guy that was in the, the, the black Merc, he, he wasn't a disciple, but he, he cruised up with us. Yeah, uh, Baron Lee Anderson. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, he goes by Baron Von Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he pulls off and he's like, I think I'm running out of gas. And like everybody pulled off right <laughs> right behind with him. It's like, hey, nobody's getting left behind. So do what you got to do, man. It's a yeah, wonderful time. Good old six volt Joe doing 55 miles an hour, you know, trying to oh. just cruise along. Now we, see, <laughs> now we see Brant racing past everybody else when we're driving 72. Yeah. We're like, oh, there goes Brant. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, a, that was a blast. And then I've, I'm, we're in the daily driver, and Sam's halfway leaned out of, of the car taking pictures <laughs> yeah. with her phone. Sacrificing life and limb. For yep. the, yeah. For the and we got, we got great <laughs> pictures of y'all cruising that one, though. Oh, yeah. I need a big picture of that one hanging on my wall with the, the Plymouth and the my Chrysler beside it. Yeah. So. Oh, absolutely, yep. man. Yep. Uh, now the Chrysler isn't your only uh, car, though. You have you have a few others. That's just been the one you've been driving lately, huh? Yeah, that's my dependable car because it's all original and hasn't been really messed with. Besides lowered dual exhaust and changed the wheels out. Uh, but yeah, did, I've got. Did my you change that radiator Victoria. though? Did you change that radiator? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It just gets below the leak and it stops. So there you go. Below the hole. <laughs> there you go. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that needs to be done. Poor Bonneville, I'm sure. <laughs> so, Maybe a well, good idea. I'll add that to my list. Thanks, Lane. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the custom couple where we call out all of our guests. <laughs> yeah. Shortcomings, <Love> failures. <laughs> Right. Hey, mine. Mine's a freaking paperweight in the driveway right now. We're pulling the engine out of it. So. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. a little. You know, knocks like a like the pizza boy, and I I don't like that. So. Nice. Yeah, my dad always said the day you quit working on them is the day you sell them. So. That's always something to do. Yep. yep. Absolutely, man. Uh, but. But yeah. What's yeah, the back to my cars? If that's what you want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I do. <laughs> yeah, so my. 53 victoria which we've been building for over six years now uh it's got it's kind of a mild custom it's shaved and frenched and decked and nosed and you know got a custom paint job on it custom interior uh, a lot of custom pinstriping uh, i've got my 61 sunliner convertible ford uh that runs and drives but it's you know needs interior needs paint um then i've got my 53 f100 which has my uh, Chrysler 62 Chrysler grill in it and canted headlights. It's a five inch chop. It's a full custom uh, in progress. Um, it's for sale. All these are for sale if anybody's interested, you know, but uh, everything has a price tag on it most days. So that's what I always <laughs> say. Everything is for sale. I don't care how sacred it is. Yeah. 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 And I, I got my collection of F 100s, you know, 66 and a 64 and a 58 and, 59 and then i've got yeah i mean yes yeah, that's yeah the <laughs> list goes off <laughs> well we talked la last time you were on the show we talked about how much your shop had grown uh since you and i had even first met like how much it had grown so yeah i can imagine you got some room out there to to start laying some of these cars out end to end <laughs> yeah <laughs> start yeah. putting some for I need, sale signs i need to them. sell them so if anybody's interested in some cool cars that are most of them drive halfway done, whatever. I need to buy buildings and land and down payments. Be an adult. What <laughs> was the conclusion? I don't need thirteen cars. You know, I just two. Just two will be enough. Two is fine. That is that is a load of bull. I'm gonna call you on it right now. 
<laughs> 13 is is a decent amount. We, we're going to shoot right. for about 18 to 20. Where? I like it. Uh, yeah, where? Where? <laughs> where? where? <laughs> what was the, the black and white car that you had, the Ford... That you're you're doing burnouts in it at the at the crawfish uh, deal. Yeah, I still have that. It's a '57 Fairlane four. That's right. Yeah, it's got a solid lift 390 big block in it, or FE motors, not a big block, and a C6. And yeah, it did its last and final burnout at the Sulphur Creek Car Cruise last year. It it, it the torque converter went out or something. It it ain't doing much anymore. So it's it's oh, sitting no. in the back with with flat tires with no tread on them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like wires sticking out, blowing up. Yeah. From all the damn burnouts. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's, it's like a that was for... the one you did at the at the 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 crawdad cruise too, right? Yeah. That's what you uh, did. I remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then like exactly. several shows after that, we kept seeing videos of you doing burnouts and it was always car. that one. <laughs> yeah, that's really why I built that car. I mean, I took it on trade years ago. And it sat in the back, and then I was like, I'm gonna do this, this, and that. And then I had a 390 we pulled out of a rat rod that was just nasty. And I'm like, okay, I'll take your trade in on that. And then, like, the next week, we're dropping that motor in it, doing brakes and everything. We built the car in three days and then rolled it right outside to break the motor in and just a nasty burnout. <laughs> so, <laughs> radiator hose, heater hose is sticking out of the fender, no hood on it, nothing, you know, and just, <laughs> just slap some old tires on it and roast them down. We yep. had a customer of mine. He's a fire marshal for the state fire marshal, and he had a 54 Chevy sitting out front, and he's coming to pick it up, and he sees all this smoke. And so he <laughs> starts taking pictures coming down the road to for evidence that his car was on fire at Martin's Rod and Custom. But it was the, it was my 57 doing a burnout right behind it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some pretty cool pictures of coming down the road with that white smoke just boiling out of the back end of the thing. Oh, that is <laughs> yeah. awesome. That is awesome. What was yeah, the fr- everybody needs a stress reliever car? You know, you just roll out and just burn them down. <laughs> what was the first car that you ever did a burnout in? Uh, it would be my first car when I was sixteen, I guess. Sixty three <laughs> Nova two door hardtop. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it had a three hundred seventy five horse three fifty five in it. I got it when I was eleven years old. It was just a three hundred dollar turd sitting out in the field and. That's how I learned to build cars was if I wanted to drive on turn 16, I had to do everything to it. So I built it from the ground up, did everything but spray the paint, do the upholstery. And, uh, but yeah, so there's one story of me and my brother, we just put the motor in and we're like, okay, hey, let's go for a test drive. I'm 14, 15 years old. He's 15, 16 years old. Enough. So we throw the bench seat in there and then take it down the road, you know, like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. So let's see what it'll do. So we just smash the gas and the thing just goes sideways the seat we did not bolt down back like that our feet go up in the air and they were looking at each other like on three on three one two three we rock the seat back forward going down the road and look up and there's a tree coming right at me and i just like that get out of the way so before all test drives make sure you bolt your seat down just in case your brother encourages you to do a burnout (laughs) Or or get one of the hefty guys in the shop to go with you. That's right. Yeah. No, they can just go back faster then. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Yeah, oh my so. god. But yeah, it's a bench seat, so both of us, our feet just up in the air. I'm sure it'd been hilarious seeing us go down the road with just legs. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, it, I would probably have garbage. lost it at that point. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to clean the seat or anything. <laughs> no you who. No you who on that one. <laughs> yeah, that's staying in at the beginning. Oh, <laughs> totally. Sorry, this is going south. I'll uh, change uh, subjects now. <laughs> oh, Welcome yeah. to the custom couple, folks. Um, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Just, just start the whole thing over again. Oh my God. That's right. We talk about everything, even real life scenarios. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. So yeah. you, your 53 is the next thing that you're going to build. Uh, but you got kids coming up because we talked about them. Are, are you, yeah. are you online and get them into their first cars when they hit those teen years? 
Well, Megan and I talked about this years ago. I have a 13 year old daughter and she's like, now you do realize when she's 16, she's not going to want a hundred year old car. I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? A hundred year old. She goes, a 1932 Ford will be almost a hundred years old when she's 16. I'm like, well, Close. Yeah, it's yeah. true, but she'd be cool in a hundred yeah. year old car. <laughs> be a lot cooler if you like this one <laughs> that's right a lot cooler if you did yeah exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah that i i can i can see where there'd be a little bit of a weirdness be like your dad builds cars but now i gotta go over and t- sit at this dealership over here and <laughs> buy you yeah, a new one wrong, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> but yeah no i'm looking for a nice two-seater that has no space for any uh, drifters or any friends of hers walk around, ride around in. So just enough room for one friend and her golf clubs or tennis racket or something mm-hmm. like that. You know, so yeah, so maybe a Corvette or a, I even looked at a Pontiac Solstice would be kind of cool with an LS swap or something, you know, but Ooh, yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah. A little more modern car with a, the horsepower, but I don't know. We'll see what she likes. Watch. I've been threatening her now. She's going to drive my F two fifty. <laughs> So it's got that power stroke with oh, the God. logos all down the side of it, you know, and it's like, I'm, she's like, oh, you got to take the stickers off. Of it. I'm like, no, everybody will know who you are, where you're at. You can't do anything, <laughs> get in trouble. <laughs> so, stupid. Yeah, during school hours, I'm going to see that truck parked at the Dairy Queen. <laughs> Absolutely exactly. not. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Uh, no, that that's genius right there. Uh, but <laughs> it's like, if she's going to be in a, in a vehicle that can hold a bunch of people in it, then yeah, you, you got to do what you got to do to keep her out of trouble yeah. for sure. Or she's exactly. going to be driving a Mazda Miata that that's <laughs> one or the other. Yeah. And what I do like about my F two fifty is it's safe. If she gets in an accident, she'll be protected. You know, it's they'll be hurt. Not the her. And, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you know, as we know, hot rods and stuff, they're not, they don't have all the crash stuff that the new car is having to protect you. So, uh, yeah, so you got 50-50 chance. We'll yeah. see how it does. <laughs> I mean, you're right. We we always joke like, well, you know, th- this car is all metal. It'll it'll take a hit, but you know, it's still stopping from 60 miles an hour to zero. Like, you don't want to be going through that windshield that's not safety glass, or you know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Th- you'll be able to not. stop as fast as the guy in front of you. <laughs> so. And a, a really good friend of mine had that problem. Uh, he had a 55 Plymouth and a guy brake checked him in the middle of the mm. night driving home. Uh, oh, they were the right. only two Ouch. people on the road and a guy brake checked him and, uh, you know, he slammed on his brakes and he had done a disc brake conversion and uh, one one of the, the uh, calipers grabbed before the other one did. So it sent his car oh. into a spin yeah, and yeah. sent him into a, a concrete wall. He survived the crash. But you know, yeah, people, people out there, they do stupid shit, man. And these these yeah. cars don't stop on a dime. Absolutely not. Oh no, yeah. I remember driving back from Colleen when I was 16 years old in my uh, Chevy Two Nova, and it had four wheel drum brakes on it and single fruit jar mash cylinder. It had all kinds of go and no whoa, pretty much. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah, so it's this this lady slams on her brakes in front of me, so I slam on my brakes, and sure enough, the wheel cylinders weren't timed perfectly to the shoes, and it spun around in the middle of the road too. And I'm sitting there in reverse, looking at the guy behind me. I just wave at him. <laughs> like, I'll turn around in a minute. Yeah. I did a power Th- turn. Thanks just... for not hitting me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. I steered with the rear tires all throttle and <laughs> spun her back around, and then went on. <laughs> yeah. So folks out there, you know, these cars are fun. They're, they're great things. Uh, some of the, the newer technologies of things you can do with them. I suggest oh, yeah. you do it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Upgrade brakes for sure. I mean, drum brakes work great for years, but they just don't stop as fast as the guy in front of you with disc brakes. Yeah. So definitely recommend that for anybody. Yeah. Especially yeah. us driving in the city and uh, um, pushing oh, yeah. what almost million and a half people. Yeah. In San Antonio is like, wow, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, you got. Yeah, with your Buick, you just got to keep the two car length distance the best you can. You know. Oh, I don't go any near anyone. I will. Mm, mm, <laughs> Shit. Nope. Two car lengths of that Buick. She's got like a mile between her and the <laughs> day, the <laughs> safety <next>. first. <laughs> <laughs> That's for damn sure. Hell no! I am so cautious with that car. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, she yeah. cruises. That, that's definitely not our our hot rod of any sort. That's that's the one we go out in, and we just stay in that right hand lane, like absolutely, yeah, yeah. just low cruise and slow wherever. Exactly. We, yeah, 
Oh, she loves it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have that out at uh, River Rod in yeah. March. Nice. We, cool. we cruise it around here in, in town a little bit, but uh, the, the Buick will come out to River Rod for its first show. Mm-hmm. Eventually, uh, cool. eventually we'll do an engine swap so it can be my daily driver because I love that nail head, but... I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't know how well it's going to do with like all these traveling shows we want to go to that are like 20 hour drives. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you keep the cooling system up to date and the way it's flowing properly, I think you'll be fine. I mean, I've had great luck out of nail heads if you do them right. Yeah. The uh, cooling system is the downfall of them. Yeah. The cooling system so far, you know, cruising highways and even some of the surface streets here, we haven't had any issues in, uh, no. keeping it, you know, at a decent temperature. Uh, yeah. the biggest part of it is a, you know, two speed transmission and not uh, doing yeah. more than 55 or 60 miles an hour. Yeah. You know. Right. Right. Dynaflow. Yeah. <laughs> and leaks Dynaslow. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That big old iron, uh, transmission and it's just leaks and yeah. Yep. So you know what they say about old cars that don't leak, right? They're empty. They're out of oil. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we used to say about uh, F-15s, man. They they would leak uh, fuel because of the type of uh, gas tanks that they had around. Uh, uh, they would right. leak fuel all the time. So if it wasn't leaking on the on the flight line, it was empty. So it was like, that's the one you need to fill up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So for sure, man. Well, it's getting late and you're still sitting in your shop. So you probably need to head home soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> so now I'm I'm working overtime tonight, but uh, <laughs> but we will let you get to your normal business, and uh, we'll let our listeners out there listen to something else for a little while. So we appreciate you being on the show, man. You bet. It's always a good time. I appreciate you guys. Y'all are right. doing awesome. What you do too? Just keep rocking it. <laughs> Thanks, Thank brother. You. We totally appreciate yeah. that. Is there anybody that you'd like to give some shout outs to tonight? Nah, uh, just a shout out to my team. You know the. You got Rick and Tracy and Clint. They're my shop managers, and they do things that uh, so I can, you know, advertise and do marketing and do what we're doing today, podcasts. And you know, of course, you got Josh and Jeremy and Roy, and Ryan, John, Joel, Joel, Rusty, and Taylor. That's the my main crew there. That's <laughs> awesome, man. That's in awesome. In line six, auto body. You know, here in the shop doing badass work all the time. And and then like again, check out Thirteenth Street airbrush on okay. instagram shana she does phenomenal airbrush work and pinstriping as as well uh yeah she's cool to follow absolutely yeah, shout outs to them because i mean i couldn't do what i do today without those guys so well big shout out to you brother because we appreciate you being on the show for one but we also uh, appreciate you being a sponsor of our show <laughs> Thank yeah, you for absolutely. all of that you're doing with us and, and keep us in the loop of everything that's going on with the new endeavor. Uh, yeah, yeah. We want to be a part of it and, and uh, absolutely want to get it covered when, you, when you're ready to start opening it up. Yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah, just stay tuned. It's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother. All y'all out there and all things custom, keep it cool. Bing, bang, boom. See you next Tuesday. Don't say see you next Tuesday. I can poop anyway. You know.